American English is an abomination. No! That's correct. That's very correct. That's good wording as well. Very not. correct. Uh, a space of trial and testing. Hire me. No! And I'll write your questions first. <laughs> that was one incredibly long sentence. Please use some more punctuation. Konnichiwa! <laughs> and welcome back to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exam questions. And this week we're joined by a very special guest. Hello! It's Charlie. Wow. <laughs> it's Charlie again. I am so confused. How do we make this make sense? So, uh, theoretically, if you take oh away God, it. That's not underlined. That's cheating. I don't care. <laughs> um, English is hard. <laughs> English is hard. Yeah. Question number 23. While some writers of fantasy fiction use fantastic trees and forests only as important elements of their world building, numerous others. etc. Uh, is there actually a comma after only? There isn't. No. Which? Only is important elements of the world building. Numerous. No, I think that's correct. Would you not say as only important elements of their world building? Only as seems weird to me, having it that way around. Well, some writers of fantasy fiction use fantastic trees and forests only as important elements. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it does make sense I though. I think you might be nitpicking. Maybe. But I would. We'll say it's correct. If I was to say it myself, it would be only. No. <laughs> As only. Yeah, I would say as only as well. Yeah. Maybe it's an American thing again. I don't know. I don't know enough Americans. And the American English is... An abomination. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving on. As important elements of their world building, numerous others have recognised a potential locking in the image of myths and fairy tales. What? Lacking? Locking. Oh. Numerous others have recognised the potential of locking in the image of myths and fairy tales. I don't know what they mean by locking in the image. Like, connecting, perhaps? It's like connecting the image of myths and fairy tales with forests. I think that's what it's trying to say. No idea. Okay. But I think I have recognised the potential of locking in the image of myths and fairy yeah. tales. You would need something to connect. Yeah, I think you need something in there. Uh, as a result, in modern fantasy, trees and forests also become a vessel of the divine. That's correct. That's very correct. That's good wording as very well. Very correct. <laughs> uh, a space of trial and testing, a catalyst of the hero's physical and psychological change, and an active agent in the resolution of conflict. Do you want to carry on? Moreover, they are frequently presented as the last trace of myth in the modern world. And continues. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. And their portrayal may be a metaphor through which the author intends to convey an important message about humanity's relationship with the natural world. Yeah. Okay. Again, that sounds correct. So, okay, I'm starting to get a pattern that there's only one that's uh, incorrect. I think in you're wrong one. on the first one. Very wrong. That's <laughs> right. Write your questions better. You can't say that to Tokyo University. <laughs> I can say it's Tokyo University, and I will. Hire me! No! And I'll write your questions better. <laughs> well, so which one was wrong in 23? It was A and B we had issues with. Yes. But I think B's the one that's more I, wrong. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. B. Moving on. Well, uh, yeah, two more questions. Okay. So, question 24. Today, many people treat our planet's ecosystems as commodities and acknowledge only their material and practical value. That's correct. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Of course, forests have supplied people with resources for centuries. Also correct. Mm -hmm. Yet now, more than ever, the environment is endangered by human progress. Yeah. Yeah. Because not only does our growing population require more and more space and resources, but also... That's correct, by the way. Not only... Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, but also we are slowly migrating into the cyberspace. The cyberspace sounds cool. It does. <laughs> oh, cyberpunk's coming out later this year. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, distraction. Where we are easy to forget about our connection with the rest of the living world. That was, first of all, that was one incredibly long sentence. Please use some more punctuation. Uh, secondly, the incorrect one is E. Here. I agree. What would you say? Easy to. I need my glasses. Where we are easy to forget about. 
I think there's an easy. I think there's an easy way to change this. But it is easy to forget about, or...? That works. Um, yeah. Okay, where it is easy to forget. I was going to say where we easily forget Ooh. about either work, though. Yes. So, yeah. We are... So you can either substitute it with, as Charlie says, uh, mm -hmm. where it is easy to forget about, yep. or, as I say, where uh, we easily forget about our connection. Because uh, I did all of 24, do you want to do 25? Yes. Unfortunately, fantasy fiction, the heir to the traditions of myths and fairy tales, may still... That's correct. I think so. Yep. Uh, may still remind us the spiritual value of nature. Remind us of... Yeah. The spiritual... Small error there. I put, remind us of the spiritual value of nature. Good. Yeah. Uh, in fantasy fiction, trees and forests play vital roles of... and are... I got that wrong, and it wasn't Sorry. even an error. <laughs> <laughs> uh, trees and forests play vital roles and are presented as entities fundamental to the well-being of the imaginary world and its inhabitants. Staying in harmony with the natural world is shown as a deeply rewarding experience. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Because the natural world is filled with the divine essence. Writers of fantasy fiction such as MacDonald, Tolkien, Tolkien, ah. You love Tolkien, don't you? Tolkien. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Mm. And Lewis? Perceived nature religiously in their own lives. Yeah, correct? Yeah, that well, sounds good to me. And use myth to convey this religious sensibility towards nature to their readers. I think it's all correct in that last. Well, well I think it's all correct except remind us of the spiritual yeah. value of nature. Okay. So the, the error in question 25 is B. And that's everything. Yay! That uh, is all of Tokyo University at finding errors questions. So. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, wow, it's gotten dark outside yes. during the recording of this video, but we have been going for 20 minutes, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you again soon, and I hope this one gets to see you again soon too. <laughs> did you have fun? I did! It was hard. Um, it is very hard. It's always hard. As an English speaker, finding it so difficult, I try to think what it must be like trying to do things like that as a second language. I mean, well, yeah. Technically, you are a second. Well, no. bilingual. Is it my first language? Is it my second language? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Going. You can choose. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. And hopefully, you're all still staying safe given the whole, you know, world thing. Everyone's talked about it a lot. Uh, hopefully, see you soon. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.